Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have episode number 9 of the, oh no less, I was going to say Leicester then because I looked at the blue kit of the Cardiff City um, career mode on FIFA 19. Now um, we get things going here uh, with a game against Leicester, I've got, f uh, no not Leicester, game against Huddersfield. Um, I've got three games for you guys today, uh, I've got two Premier League games and I've got one FA Cup. I do believe it's the fourth round against Preston so um, a bit of an easier game than last FA Cup round but if you go off the result then uh, it's not exactly um, going to be any harder. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for all the support on the video um, so far. Um, we're still hitting over like, a, like 100 plus views on this series uh, which 8 episodes in I was not expecting to keep doing so thank you for that. Uh, closing in on 300 subscribers as well which is like fantastic because like last month I literally had like a hundred so yeah since I've been pumping out the videos um, the views and the subscribers are going up so uh, it really does make motivate me and uh, make me feel happy and appreciative of uh, everyone that watches and likes and comments and subscribes so anyway moving on into the video first game is against Huddersfield um, we had a few chances there not none of them were really um it's outstanding I guess but apart from the one that did go in the back of the net but it was unfortunately uh, offside but the linesman took ages to put his flag up anyway uh, moving on into the 20th minute now really nice ball played over to uh, the wide player there not a bad ball win uh, probably could the striker probably could have done better there to be honest um, but yeah I don't know what this free kick was for um, if I'm being totally honest it probably was something just before I kicked it away. Anyway, Aaron Moy there, um, so close to getting onto that. If he was, if he just timed his run a little bit um, better, I probably would have got onto that. Um, and then we've counter-attacked from uh, this uh, free kick they did have. And then we did get intercepted halfway through, but we uh, managed to get back up the pitch here. Uh, with Cunningham, plays it down to Hoylet, who um, cuts inside, or goes to cross it, sorry. Lays it off to um, Loftus-Cheek, that was Origi, um, sorry. Uh, who tries to go for a nice top corner finish but unfortunately the defender blocked that whipped the ball in from the corner keeper punches it away uh, we challenge for the header but unfortunately miss out and they clear the ball away moving on into the 34th minute Narsing picks up the ball nice little turn goes for the um, shot on it was quite an awkward position he was in and angle so probably wasn't going to test the keeper but anyway moving on nearly half time in this game Origi gets the ball plays it into Loftus-Cheek who's running into the box defenders catching up with him cuts inside Gets lucky with the rebound, bounce off the defender and drills into the top corner to make it 1-0 to Cardiff City. Um, now Loftus-Cheek is really impressing me on this career mode so far. I think he's like a perfect fit for us in that centre attacker mid role. Uh, I think he's a really, really good player in like on FIFA and, and in real life as well, but we're not going to be talking about that. Anyway, second half now. Um, we've we've dominated most of this game compared to the chances. This is literally one of the only chances Car uh, Huddersfield had. Um, to show you and they didn't even they didn't even get a shot off so it just shows that they weren't great uh, in this game anyway Rigi does win the ball back after getting tackled plays the ball into or attempts to play the ball into Loftus Cheek who tries to shoot even though there's no one in the ball and yeah just like f nearly falls over anyway throw in now into Hoylet who plays it across to Hariata um, cuts inside plays it to Kamarasa back to Rigi back to um, no not back to Kamarasa he actually took a shot and it hit the crossbar um, you'll notice in these episodes that Origi loves hitting the post and crossbar. I just don't know why, but look at that for a flick by Junior Hoyle there. And a lovely ball over the uh, down the line to, from Loftus-Cheek to um, Origi. Ends up back at Loftus-Cheek. What a goal that is. That is honestly one of the best team goals I've ever scored on FIFA. Um, just the way Hoyle set it up, Loftus-Cheek plays that through ball. And then we end up dinking it over the back line and Loftus-Cheek's there to tap it in. Really unlucky there from Origi not to score. Let's make it 3-0 for us. Uh, really, really powerful effort, just blastering wide. Um, I thought I'd show you the subs that I did make in this game. Uh, I brought on Reed for Origi and then uh, Mendes and Lang for uh, Narsing. So we did decide to make a couple of changes. Uh, just to, you know, get a few... We were tuning up just to let everyone get a bit of game time, you know. Obviously... It is hard to keep a, especially a squad like Cardiff. You've got you've got to rotate all your pl main players when you're e winning games like this. Otherwise, you never know who, who could get injured at what point. Anyway, 
Bobby Reed, I think he was offside there. Not unlucky though, because it was a really good chance to get a goal uh, for him. You know, he's he's on the bench most of the time, but when he comes on, he does make a decent impact. Um, the ball's going everywhere here just before the end of the game. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there. Bobby Reed with some good press in there, but unfortunately, he was unable to get the ball. And that is the end of that game when we do take down a 2-0 victory against Huddersfield, which is really, really good for us because those are the type of games we need to be winning if we want to stay in the like top half of the table. Anyway, moving on into an away game against Newcastle. Obviously, not the nicest of away games. Obviously, you know, Newcastle, not similar sort of side to us. You know, everyone would class them as like a mid mid table or bottom half of the table or bottom half probably yeah bottom half table table side and especially away obviously you know Newcastle's ground and their fans are great and honestly the atmosphere on FIFA 19 career mode uh, has really improved in my opinion like, I just think that the um, the crowds are so much better this year anyway unlucky there from Loftus Cheek to get a ball into I think that was a uh, Narsing but then he eventually gets the ball back and takes a shot on uh, but it is um, saved comfortably by the keeper anyway Pavard obviously must have signed for Newcastle in this save. Uh, I don't know if it was summer or January. Uh, plays the ball in, and uh, it comes all the way out to um, I think uh, yeah, John Joe Shelby gets the ball and Rondon. What a goal this is, by the way. Uh, he just does some like Dennis Burkamp like fl spin on re spin. I don't even I can't. Oh, it's just oh, I shouldn't have skipped the replay because it was honestly probably the goal the goal of the episode. Oh, I don't know actually about goal of the episode. But it's very, it's highly up there because that was a quality strike, uh, just the way he turned and that. But anyway, we went straight up the other end, um, tried to get a shot off, or we did get a shot off, tried to get a goal. Uh, Narsing was unlucky to get the ball pushed wide. Now moving on into uh, Newcastle's next chance, we tried to clear the ball with um, the centre back and he just f like fumbles it. Uh, but we do eventually get the ball out and loft the streak. Cheek is driving on, plays it back inside to Camarasso, plays it into Origi and he finesses it into the bottom corner. Really nice team goal again. It just shows you like my counter-attacking play in this career mode series seems to be working in the way that I score most of my goals. Um, you, that's why I try to extend like the clips because it, show, it shows you like it literally comes from them attacking me and then I go up, up like and just score counter-attacking um, but normally I only show like the bit of me being in their half and scoring instead of the bit of me winning the ball back and then obviously scoring anyway moving on only the 25th minute now uh, in this game so far and the goals are flying in and this is just lovely football from our sort look how many players we push forward there uh, the delivery wasn't great but Narsing did get a shot off there unfortunately not on target and it wasn't cleanly hit if you want to say that but we were unlucky. Hoylip picks up the ball for, with an interception there. Um, Loftus Cheek makes the run. Uh, Origi does find him, but he gets shrugged off the ball, uh, which is, you know, unfortunate from Loftus Cheek. Um, they come back at us with Perez here. Plays the ball through to uh, Murphy and whips it in. Great ball in. I, phew, I don't know how um, the right back there did not. I, th I think it was. It wasn't Cunningham. It was um, Patterson. There we go. Patterson. I don't know how he didn't deal with that. And uh, Rondon nearly uh, got his second of the game and made us pay for that mistake. But anyway, corner comes in. It was not a great corner. And um, we pick up the ball here with a nice little interception. Great touch from Loftus Cheek. I thought, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for the main strike with Harry Arta first time. And yeah, it didn't exactly go to plan. And it's drifted really far wide. Anyway, moving on, second half now, we have a kickoff. Loftus Cheek doing a couple of skills, no needed. Narsing has gone for it and he's hit the crossbar. When I hit this, I was like, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I've, I've ever hit it, it's going miles over. And out of nowhere, it just dipped and hit the crossbar. I was like, what? If we scored that, goal of the season, hands down. Anyway, Hoyler plays a great ball to Origi here. He's one on one, he's not going to miss. Takes his time to take the shot, but eventually it does go into the top corner. And we now go 2 1 up against Newcastle. With a really nice, clean goal there. Again, Hoyler, that was a great ball from Hoyler into Origi. And he's calmly calmly and composed, you know. Great finish from Origi. And uh, we get the ball out with uh, a clearance. But then it falls to Kennedy. Extra touch, probably didn't need it. Uh, Bamba, really nice um, way to like put him off there from taking the shot. And then we just boot out for a corner. Anyway, corner here. I think Kennedy is taking this corner as well. Yeah, he is. Um, not a great delivery. Narsing was able to head that away. And Origi chasing down the ball here. Really nice pressing from him. 
uh, they do get the ball with Murphy into Shelby. Shelby um, passes it inside. Ki Sung Young tries to play it into, I think that was Perez or Rondon, uh, and we do end up clearing the ball. Anyway, not a great um, bit of defending from us there. We kind of left left a few gaps here and there. Uh, we throw the ball out, get tackled, but then we do manage to get the ball back and pass it straight back to them. And then the ball gets played in here. I don't know. Right, now this is the annoying thing. I don't know. I, I thought I was getting the ball, so I, I held square to boot the ball out. And I was just so wrong. I judged it so wrong. And instead of booting the ball, because I was nowhere near it, I've absolutely taken out the player. And he's been given a straight red Morrison. My own fault because I just I and like same again. I, I thought I was going to boot the ball, but he's made Narsing's done a side tackle. So uh, I need to be careful of that because that could cost us in games like this, especially against teams like this. Um, but yeah, we eventually get the ball out after that whole scenario that happens. Um, they had a throw in and uh, yeah. Anyway, Harry Arter taking a risk there to try and um, touch the ball down and edge of our box. Um, they get the ball in. Uh, Ayoso Perez and Kennedy linking up well with some nice little one-two passing. And we do bring on Ampadu for Harry Arta just to, um, I, I guess, freshen up the midfield. Because obviously we've got a man down at the back, so it would be good to get a bit of fresh legs in the middle of the park. Anyway, keeper gets fouled here after he collects the ball. It really, he did well to keep hold the ball in his hands, even though it was a foul uh, from Lejeune there. He gets a yellow card. Uh, 78th minute, we're pressing on. And now we're moving into the 89th minute. Bad touch there. Anyway, I took him out uh, with Patterson. Uh, I had to do it because I was I was a bit worried that they were going to score there. And uh, he gets a yellow card for it. I decide to bring on Mendes Lang for um, Loftus-Cheek just for the last two minutes of the game. Just to have a bit of fresh legs um, in and around the midfield. And up, if we ever get a counter-attack, just to run and put it in the corner. Really, really lucky there that the ball did not go uh, a bit lower. And that Iosi Perez would have probably got that and touched it down. And maybe he could have scored. Anyway, we get a counter attack here with Hoylet. Um, he, he's just struggling because he's obviously played that he's playing the full 90. Wins the ball back, dinks it in. Narsing didn't actually uh, manage to get that header, but yeah, move on into uh, the last like don't even know it was two extra minutes of the added time. Narsing nearly gets in there, but we do win that game 2-1. Very lucky in a way, having been 10, uh, only having 10 men. But, you know, a win's a win against teams like that. Like I said, we need to be winning those games. And the, speaking of games we need to be winning, this is a big chance to go further in the FA Cup against Preston away from home, though. Which, you know, away games aren't the best. But championship level side, you know, you could argue that Cardiff are probably a championship level side. But, you know, we're in the Prem. We should be winning this game. And they have the first attack straight from the kickoff. Uh, the ball got whipped in. It was a really nice delivery. And straight after that, we lovely ball from Hoyler over to Origi. Cuts inside, boom, gets taken out. Clear penalty, Clark's just completely blocked him off. And yeah, actually, um, my microphone cut out and my computer crashed at that point. So uh, I'm actually recording this a few days uh, later compared to that um, video uh, like section. So the, all of the past that, uh, like this episode, I actually um, recorded, um, a f like I think, a day or two ago. Um, compared to the previous recording so yeah we actually uh, missed that penalty which was um, not great uh, anyway moving on 16th minute you know w the game was fairly <clears throat> I don't know really how to talk about this game this game was like I think that we I could have scored so many goals but look at this from Ruben Loftus cheek what a goal this was he is actually so good for us I just don't get it Hoyler here Oh, he does so well to get the ball back across the, like, uh, goal. And, <laughs> oh my god, Ruben lost his cheek. I can't believe he had the nerve to do that. Like, I press circle for him to, like, maybe do a run volley. Like, he runs up to it and then volleys it. But no, he just did this side-footed volley into the top corner. And I just, that is probably one of the goals of the season. The amount of goals, nice goals that we've scored in this um, video, let alone, um, yeah, this video, let alone this uh, career mode, uh, series so far, there's just been so many good goals. I just, I just don't know. I might have to do a goal of the year at the end of the season just to add something extra. Anyway, how I, oh, I just don't know how we haven't scored in this section. Harry Arter, you know, finesse shot was it was fairly decent, hit the post, and then Camarasa he just boots the ball and it just lumps the post. And the ball goes out, and then they eventually get it clear. But we counter attack here from uh, one of their attacks with Narsing. Drives on through, cuts it back to Origi. Origi first time into the top corner. 
in the 62nd minute. Really nice goal from Marie there. Uh, it was a really good bit of uh, counter-attack and play once again from me on this career mode, as I do in most episodes. I think most goals come from a counter-attack, um, which is, you know, it's not obviously always good to be having only counter-attacking goals, but you're still scoring goals. Anyway, Rigi here. I tried to slide it underneath the keeper, and I think I said this in this episode, in like the previous uh, commentary section, Rigi loves hitting the post or crossbar. How many times an episode does he hit the crossbar or post? He he just always seems to do it. I just don't get it. Um, the ref pulled that one back for um, that free kick because there was no advantage, and we did decide to make a sub. I think um, Rowles came on for... Um, Camarasa, I do believe. I think, yeah, there you go. It popped up in the corner. Rigi you know, couldn't really keep onto the ball there. Um, the ball's just going back and forth. Just the, the football and the control is just not great. I pushed up with um, Bamba there. I, that was my, this goal was my fault. I shouldn't have pushed up with Bamba, um, and it cost cost me there because the guy was just clean for on goal. Um, Maguire there. there. Um, don't know what I was thinking here um, with Cunningham. I think that was the right. Oh, no, Patterson. I think. Um, don't know why I went for goal. Anyway, um, yeah, we brought an amp to at some point before as well uh, for Harry Arter just to give some fresh legs to the squad. And yeah, 2 1 against Cardiff. Um, you could say I could have done better maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy it, then please leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace!